All right, last time we did cover two. Now you see another look, middle of the field open, but it's basically a four cross look. Different kind of deal. You know, I'm not talking about where they look like there's cover zero and full blitz. You know, you got a double receiver uh, set up on one side. They're going to walk a guy out, nickel, linebacker, whoever it is doing it. The basic concept of quarters coverage is they wanted to get guys up. Cover two had some weaknesses in stopping the run because they had two guys back there 12, 14 yards deep and they were short a guy inside and they couldn't fill in that extra area as, as easily as they wanted to. Now I drew it as four across and it's perfectly four across but that's not always the case. Some people might, let's say into the boundary, decide to play press coverage on one of the receivers and just lock him out. Basically the the receivers, or the, excuse me, the defensive backs, the four deep guys, if a guy pushes at least eight yards down the field in their area, they become like it's man coverage. So if this guy goes and he gets down to eight yards deep, now he's locked on him. All right? Let's say this guy doesn't. You're running your smash combination. He doesn't. All right, as soon as he sees that, now he's bailing to help out. This guy is going to try to disrupt the route a little bit, and he's responsible to be the flat player. Over here, we've got curl flat. Okay, so the outside guy, his guy goes at least eight yards deep, so that's his guy. He sees, this guy sees right away, he's not threatening him down the field, so he becomes the extra guy right there and so you have double teams on both those on the, some of the favorite routes that people can do these guys they put them up in here and they sometimes they get some almost linebackers because as soon as they see a key especially uncovered linemen and they run block bang they've got a gap to fill somewhere it might be outside might be inside you can kind of tell by the way the the rest of the defense is lined up where their fill is, but they try to get those guys so they can make hits at the line of scrimmage. And if you let them do that, it could be pretty tough to run the ball. So, you know, they're, they're trying to do a whole lot with these guys. And, you know, some high schools don't, uh, don't want to run it because it gets kind of complicated and people don't, but people don't know how to attack it. And so it causes some issues, All right? If, they are, if they're playing four, just a true four cross, all right, and this, this guy's the flat guy, this guy's the banging flat, the middle guy, whichever way the, the third receiver goes, that's where he's going to go first. So he's got anything short inside, he's got anything to the outside, he's got anything to the outside. So they really only have three guys playing short in the coverage. So obviously if, if they're not playing tight, you can throw it fast, they'll get a quick, pretty quick read on it because they'll they could be watching you. They could play inside or outside technique. Now the way to really get after them is you take advantage of what they're taught to do. For example, they're playing outside leverage on both sides. So this guy pushes up 10 yards and runs a square in, dig route, whatever you want to. So he's going to be all over him. This guy pushes up. All right, so he's got him man to man now. This guy is going to try to bang him, and he's responsible for the flat. Well, if he breaks to the post, who's helping the corner? The guy back there in the striped shirt, goal post, something, doesn't matter, but you've got a chance to, to break on him. All right, the other thing you can do is you can run him on a shorter route, break him deep. If they're playing inside leverage, okay, you can do both together, or you can do, you know, do one, or you could do it like that. Protect, try to get get your protection going, and attack the guys. A lot of times, it's the safeties, especially if you can do a little bit of a fake, even if it's a little draw fake where the guy can still be a, a viable protector. If he sees a blitz, he aborts the fake and goes. All right where you can just freeze the linebackers 
a little bit and then you attack those areas down the field. Quick to the flat, uh, to areas down the field, get a guy cleared out, bring a guy in, in behind him. Boom, boom. All right, run a guy across, this guy takes him. All right, it's going to be hard, you know, this guy's going to try to bang him to keep him from getting there, but you should be able to get in there. All right. And you can put another guy here to keep that open. You have a nice window inside in between them. You can do some stuff here just to occupy these guys while you're doing it. So take advantage of what they do and attack them in the seams.